Hey Facebook, Big Jim again. Uh, I am here because I want to drop some science on some people. Uh, I'm not a professional mechanic, as along the lines do I work constantly on mechanic stuff, no, but I've been a mechanic, uh, diesel mechanic trained uh, for going on 20 years now, so I know a little something about it. Am I a shady tree? No, but most, most important part about being a mechanic is learning how to diagnose a vehicle and how to use a parts manual, so that way if you got a guy who works on 350 motors his entire life, does he know how to work on a 350 better than me? I can almost guarantee it. But if you throw him a new motor he's never worked on before, you think he can work on it if he doesn't know how to diagnose and how to be able to use a proper repair manual? That's where being a mechanic comes in. You gotta know how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach some people here a little something about turbos. So you have two types. So if I do it on this table, you have the round type and you have what's called a key type. A key type has a flat edge on it, so that way when the wheel goes onto it, going on, it locks into place because it has a flat point that locks into it, so that way the wheel will always spin as fast as the shaft does. Now in a free play shaft, it's completely round, which means if you don't have torque to it, what will happen is it'll spin freely. Now, the same type, you have a shaft that comes out, and you have no backing on it, so what happens is the wheel will come and sit sorry for my crude drawing, on it with a nut on the end. What it is, you need to have a certain amount of pressure holding this guy in the place, otherwise they'll spin freely. Well, if you have a positive stop shoulder, what it is, is there'll be a area on the shaft where it sticks out where the wheel will connect onto. Those you torque down, so that way it would always stay the same amount. So those are the different types of turbo shafts. So what it is, is you gotta talk about uh, centrifugal and centrifugal uh, rotation. If you have a turbo wheel that's spinning this direction, what will happen, the nut in the middle, which is a stationary object separate from the mass of that one, when it turns, it will cause the interior shaft to rotate that way. That's why we have left-handed nuts, because the reverse pressure will actually spin the nut the opposite direction because the shaft inside is turning this way, tightening the nut. And that's what we're doing on IHI turbos. Versus when you look at a Garrett turbo, which requires a higher amount of torque to hold it still. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to this freshly rebuilt turbo. Now let's talk about rebuilding real quick. See how there is no, just about no play whatsoever in there, and that's because it's been rebuilt, which means the tolerances on the turbo are tighter than a worn out turbo or a turbo with more miles on it that's going to have back and forth play. Now you have to have a certain amount of play. I don't have my dial indicator out or as I'd show you the couple thousands of an inch it moves but you need to have a little bit. Now this is toward the 10 foot or inch pounds. See? It spins. I'll spin it from the back side. See? It spins going both ways. Here I'll go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Guess what? Not coming free. To prove this, I will loosen it and retorque it. All right. Now we can see the turbo here. The nut is loose. I had to jerry rig some stuff in the back to hold it. So we are going to put this on there. Watch. Yep, just over 10 inch pounds. Okay. Yeah. Take that off, check it out. Oh, look at that, it spins normally. It's not spinning separately from the shaft. Spin it back. Okay, now I'm gonna get it up to speed and show you what happens. Okay, had to grab a shop air real quick to show you put this guy in the back side now see how it continues to free spin and free spin and free spin oh that's right that's what a turbo supposed to do and guess what see look look it didn't loosen it see that still tight because what happens is when this turbo wheel spins that way the shaft also spins that way when it does that it causes this left hand bolt to get torqued down 
further to the left from a counterforce. That's right. These turbos are designed to work on counterforce. Not free. Look, everything's moving. I'll do it one more time. Shopping.